really ever has. You say Tommy Naga. The glass, no, and that's the first 20 from the barn. 39 next. David Rayfeld, the State Farm halftime show. Change of the first half, it's something to watch here. At the second. Great speed to a trailing Christie for three. Yes! Come on, Warren. Mike Mitchell just making something happen on defense. Just go up and finish that. Tommy Naga will fire and that's the ball of the season. Team game. Mitchell for the lead. Gophers by three. Numbers for the Gophers. Look out. Look out. Joseph off the feed from Hawkins. Mitchell, Hawkins, Ola Joseph. And the Gophers are rolling here at the bar. This one is over. The Gophers trailed by as many as seven. Cooper lets it fly. It counts at three, but in the end, winning streak since 2018. It looks like so now Ohio State does move along. Again, they take out. They got it to Tobinaga. Oh, off the back of the rim. Minnesota survives and advances to face Maryland tomorrow night. And Nebraska, who had won five. For, but you look at the standage right there. They are in position to be in position. Elijah Hawkins and Kasey Tominaga really powering these two teams' offenses. They're brought to you by Jeep for Minnesota. Elijah Hawkins coming off a 24-point game. Over the last five, they're going to have their fingerprints all over this huge. In Lincoln with Bryce Williams. 20 games in doubles and the work in since Williams for three. Pinballs out. Another Alec rebound. Third chance. Tomenaga short on against the Huskers get the win. Just six minutes in that one. And a turnover. They're taking a giant step forward this season. Veteran squad, they play well together. Their defense has been excellent, but it's been their offense. Facilitator, awesome. the transfer from Howard. Going to work is Mitchell. Tends to shoot. Sprinting back on defense. Transition defense, another important key to this game against the Gophers. Mitchell on the drive. That's a foul on the floor. Difference. On the first time, Garcia got it skipped. Reverse for a score. That time it was a turnover. And Lawrence picking up where he left off in Bloomington. He gets the grass. And nothing doing offensively. Hawkins trying to probe, finds a little bit of a crease, and he gets to the rim. That's just a guy making a play. Exactly right. He had an opportunity to kick it out for an open shot. 12 three-point attempt, so he has got to get in this game or just throw it inside for an easy one. What a beautiful ball movement from the top of the key. Couple of passes to Gary for the easy two. That's when the ball. Two teams are combined one for 11 from three. Lawrence will try to change that, and he will. How good has he been? 11 points per game since moving to the bench roll, and he's got five off the bench in this first half. The reason it works is Mike Mast is such a good shooter and passer. Hawkins inside, count the bucket, and a chance for one more. 
it's just hard to describe his game if you've never seen him play in person. As fast as he looks on TV, when you sit courtside, he's got a man. Hoiberg will swing it around. Tomenaga quiet so far, trying to get to work, and a travel. Turnover number five. For the Payne Black. had the position on the block, and then he extended three or four feet, caught it too far out. Fast on the drive to the rim with the finger roll. Largest lead for the Huskers in a timeout, Minnesota. He's been tremendous, getting better every single week. Here's Tomenaga drawing a ton of attention. Curls around inside, got the foul. That's two on Garcia. Tomenaga, 14, Nebraska, 5.56 to play in this first half, and the first two points. Coach Johnson can live with that shot. A little bit forced, but you've got to get some transition offense going. Right now, you can't score in the half court against these guys. Tomenaga to the rim for his first field goal. And Nebraska with its largest lead, 22 to 14. 46 career double figure games. He's one of the most recognizable players in college basketball. Tomenaga. Working against Fox. Fox put his hand on his head. Tomenaga backing up for three. Well, he got hung up going up. Hawkins, end to end, drops it off. Oh, Joseph can't get there. And there's Fox again. Clean up in the middle. What a turn of events. A missed dunk at one end, and Fox comes in in this smoke. Tomenaga, 14 to shoot. Has to go back out to Gary. He'll try the three. High arcing three won't go. One second. Hawkins contested three off the top of the backboard. And a season he has been firm. The rotations have been on point. They've rebounded. The trend for Nebraska opponents here on the road. Eight point Husker lead. Here's Tomenaga. Trying to find his rhythm. Drops it off inside. Counts the bucket and a foul. Rink mast going right to left to lay it in. Tomanaga is so good at playing with his head up and stopping on it. No question. He can really read screens. Fast again. He'll underhand it back to Tomanaga. Gets a little space. Backs up for three. It's short. Gary with a rebound. Here's Williams. Chris driving on Tomanaga. It's a blocking foul on Casey. Right. He can score like Q did, but he's got a little ways to go to get to that level, but he'll get there. He is so confident with the basketball. Another lock. Casey trying to get it to Williams in all kinds of traffic, and the foul is called. It'll be on Pharrell Payne. That is his second. When you have shooters like Nebraska, look how extended you have to be. That opens up the back side of the paint. Hawkins now with seven to shoot. The bounce to Payne. Found it this time with Alec with the block. Mast with the save. Huskers on the move. On the move. In transition. Williams to Gary. 4 3. He's able to secure it for the Huskers. Advantage. Looking for win number 20 in Lincoln on the year. Carrington, offensive foul on a turnover. Back to Nebraska. Number two for Carrington. Opening day in Minneapolis this year at the Big Ten Tournament. Oscar still have a real legitimate shot at a double bye as Tomanaga banks that one home for two. What Fred Hoiberg from the floor in the last two games. I got 28 points right now against this stout defense. And shooting 28% from the floor. Open in the corner. Alec will try from three. The air ball from three. I'm going to say that was a lot. I'm going to help you. <laughs> Christie loping to the rim draws the contact and the foul. That'll be on. Was 1 and 13 in the league and 7 and 18 overall. To his guard, Lawrence will jump it out to Gary. Tough pass. Gary gathers and hits the three. 14 for Gary. Encouraging that team. There's so many of these programs now have gone to defense. Of this offensive possession. There's Tomenaga. Driving baseline and an offensive foul. He tried to clear Payne out of the way with that off arm. Picks up his fourth. Well, they've been very consistent with Casey. That. Just six points, two for seven from the floor, and 0 for four from three, and yet Nebraska's up.
Right now, if you're the Gophers, M. Christie has to knock it. Pass to underhand to Gary. Steps back for a three. A career high 22 for Jawan Gary. And a career high four made threes. Up the floor to Lawrence. Left alone for three. Rolls it home. Hoiberg. Back out to Lawrence. Deep jumper. Lawrence into double figures with 11. Seven threes in the second half. And for just the seventh time in school history.